Hey guys, this is Dan from Gillis Games. I'm the creator of Luna. I do all the art and the programming and uh, I kind of wanted to share an application that I recently found to be extremely helpful <laughs> uh, animating uh, 2D graphics for games, you know, whether it be cell phone games, computer games. Um, animating takes a lot of patience and uh, you know, you need to know a little bit about what you're doing and uh, Sorry, I have to apologize. I uh, don't have a microphone. Um, I'm actually going to show you something else here, but I don't have a microphone, so I'm using my cell phone. This is pretty bad, I I'm sure. But uh, I uh, want to recommend something just real quick before I get into Spreader. I uh, I've learned a lot from this uh, Animator Survival Kit. This is a book, you know, by Richard Williams. Um, you know, it just goes into a ton about animation you know Disney style old school Disney style animation 2D hand drawn stuff and it's helped me out a lot referencing you know where to put stuff and what works what doesn't um, so I recommend you study that that's you know you need to have a good basis for natural flow and timings and stuff like that and but anyways let's get into Spryder this is Spryder um, A4.1 this is a a, a free version that the Spryder teams put out on their website and I recommend you check it out. They're not charging anything for this free version. Um, so download it and you know definitely buy it when it comes out. Um, one thing that how Spryder works is you're gonna make a new project and uh, see if I can find the mouse. I'm, I'm sorry guys this is really hard. Um, you're gonna make a new project and you're going to point it, I'm not going to do it now, but you're going to point it to a directory where you've put all your pre-sliced up images. Um, and I I use Photoshop CS2, it's an older version, but it does everything I need. And uh, what I do is I save all the images in PNG format, which handles transparency really, really, really well. And uh, you can see it all over here. I could actually scroll up and down, there's a ton in there. But I get everything planned out, you know, I'll sketch it out, flesh it out in Photoshop. And, you know, as I'm drawing it, I draw it on the layers, and that makes it easier to export. Um, I've got onion skinning turned on. That's where you see the uh, green and red there, and it allows you to see the previous frame and the next frame. I mean, you can actually, I think, drag it much farther, you know, if you want to see a longer period of time on your animation timeline. But for right now, let's uh, let's go ahead and turn this off. And I, you can see I've got, uh, I don't know, I think I did 10 milliseconds. That gives me 10 frames. So, it, it, Spryder really excels at doing a ton of animation and, and you know, blending the in-between frames for you, which is just amazing. I, I wanted to, you know, use this just to export two, 2D graphics, and that's why I only have 10. But it still looks really, really smooth. So, you know, what I did and what I think works really well is... Uh, Rig up the the spine, the bones first. You know, get the skeleton of what you're working on, the hierarchy built, and then once I get that roughly in there, I start laying in the pe the pieces of of the creature um, and getting them all lined up. And then once that's done, I'll uh, I'll start dragging them up and onto the appropriate bones in the hierarchy. Um, so anyways, that's just a little tip. I don't want to dwell on that forever, but I just kind of wanted to play this and let you guys see it and see how cool it is. Um, so let's watch it for a sec. Try to get it to focus better for this part. Yeah, so uh, one thing that's cool, you can hi I can hide these bones. You can see it a little better. see yeah so that's it guys check out Spryder and uh, you know it's really gonna be a game changer for me I used to have to uh, do this exact process in Photoshop um, and it was a lot harder where I just have to deal with you know 25 layers and just you know <laughs> reference the book non-stop trying to, to animate things properly but uh, this is really a game changer it, it's gonna make things a lot easier for you it's actually really smooth. Um, when I imported these images, they were gigantic. I uh, 
I think just if you looked at this raw in Photoshop, it'd be about 2,000 by 2,000 pixels, which is, I think if I do this again, I'll definitely use a little bit smaller images next time. So, But uh, check out Spider, guys. Thanks for watching.